wake up nervous or what? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Oh, Suki. We're okay. Hmm? We're okay. The electricians are here, um, which is great, but they got here early. And I answered in cat ears. You know, because I was washing my face. They just kind of stared at me like I was crazy. And I looked at them and I was like, Are you the electricians? <laughs> and they're like, Oh, yeah. And I'm like, Okay. <laughs> Figured out their names because. They introduced themselves when Sean got home. I'm talking quiet. Because it's going to be a mess. Anyway. Um, Suki and I need to take a walk. And uh, yeah. Let me, sh let me show you the fit. Because it's so cute. Alright, hold on. So, it's Sailor Moon. But like, witchy. Here for it. It's so cute. Anyway, they're doing their thing. Suki and I need to go take our walk. That's the fit. Let's go. Here's what I will say. Um, it's not terrible out. Like, I'm comfortable in my leather jacket and t-shirt. Like, it's comfy, you know? However, um, yeah, I didn't think it was gonna make my hair frizz as much because it rained, but it's not raining. Turns out it's still very humid. So, we have that going for us, I guess. Anyway. So like I said, the electrician showed up. I was wearing my cat ears. You know, the ones like to keep stuff. Oh, this is just a spider just hanging. Do you see it? That, that's him, just hanging. I think she's making a web. It's a terrible place to make a web for people who are walking by, but I guess she'll learn that. Anyway, so where my cat ears, I open the door. They stare at me. I stare at them. They do not introduce themselves. <laughs> and I look at them and I say, are, are you the electricians? And they're like, yes. Bro, they're just cat ears. It's okay. <laughs> well, I never felt more self-conscious about my cat ears ever. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> so yeah, now there's two big, strong young men in my little home fixing the lights doing the pendants which is exciting i'm so excited but i texted sean and i said you need to get home immediately these men are moving shit like everything they moved like even the pieces that were like outrageously expensive and i walked back in the room i'm like oh you did it that's really you you moved it that's really heavy and they kind of looked at me and they're like yep yeah, we f we figured that out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're gonna keep moving. So, uh, I don't know if I'll have an. I think I'll be able to get my matcha going, but like, I'll be we'll be chatting in in my room because they're working in the living room, which is attached to the kitchen. It's a whole thing. But anyway, <sighs> hopefully they're not too long. Because tonight we have dinner and we have um, the play and I got to wash my hair, obviously. But yeah, that's what's going on. Anyway, I'll check in later. I did space buns, which, and a bow, which actually work perfectly. 
Didn't even, didn't plan it. Must have been subconscious. But anyway, we're almost done. I can't wait for you to see. Um, and then they're in, they're like in front of the kitchen, so I can't get in there, but that's okay. Um, it's gonna look amazing. They actually spackle and like, it's gonna, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill in here and then I'll have my matcha and we'll chat. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. Mm -hmm. I had to reheat it. The um, electricians just left. <laughs> they were funny. They were cute. Um, and they were very good at what they do. Wait until you see my pendant lights. It is so much better than I could have imagined. Even with the ones with the wire like this. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Anyway, my matcha arrived, which is good. And um, I'm having matcha now, which is also good because I'm actually quite chilly. Mm. And they actually fixed all the, the lighting that was in the entire space. Like even up here in the kitchen, in the um, hallway, it just works better. It's just so much nicer. <sighs> Thank God. These guys, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Mm. But anyway, oh, I'm so enjoying this. It's so good. But yeah. Oh, yesterday. How fun were those outfit were the costumes? Just from the closet. I'm so excited. Um, I posted to see if there was anything else I could add to some of those costumes. Like what would make it a little more, you know, over the top. Or like just more costume um i got some really cool and fun suggestions so we'll see about that i also want to do a little tutorial obviously i was going to do the makeup tutorial for the wedding and then i was going to do a tutorial on uh some halloween makeup which i think would be super fun um but yeah that's what i've got going on today like i said we have uh oh painters are coming because they want to we are thinking about just patching the stuff, but also um, uh, we want to do something kind of cool to the wall. So we'll see how that goes. And then what else? Um, I got to get my car because did an oil change and we need, we have the dinner and a show to go to tonight. So it's a good Friday. It's a fun, full Friday. I think I'm just going to leave the space buns until Sunday because it's supposed to rain today, rain tomorrow, and then the sun comes out on Sunday. So we'll do the hair on Sunday. This, you're just going to have to get used to looking at it like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're having an amazing day. I got to go see what Suki's getting herself into. I'm going to enjoy my matcha and I'll check in with you later. the colors now now I have a pink bow so we have cream black and pink 
I, I needed it before, but this, this will be fine. Now I have it. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, that's it. I'll check in later. Okay. Well, since it's a chilly, rainy day in, I thought it might be fun to do a little makeup tutorial. So I'm gonna do the same makeup that I did for the wedding. Um, it's gonna be a little dramatic and uh, I'll show you everything that I use. It's really not complicated. It's, it's, it's basics. Um, the natural eyes that I, it's called natural eyes by Too Faced and I love it. I love this brand because it, every time you open it, it smells amazing. Like this, well, this one's, I have one that smells like choc, like a chocolate bar. It smells incredible. This one smells like a luxurious, um, I don't like perfume, like just like, you know, 1950s, just luxury. I don't know how to explain it, but like if you, if you've ever had a grandmother, like it's kind of like a baby powder, but like luxurious. It's very nice. I love it. Uh, <laughs> It's called Natural Eyes by Too Faced. The colors are phenomenal. Um, and the colors that I stick to generally are the top ones. I like the, the matte colors. I think they really um, add depth to the eyes. And then what you can do with that is you can add the pop of gl glitter and sparkle after. By the way, Suki's here. I don't know if you can see her. Hold on. There's the baby. Hi, baby. She knows she's not supposed to be on the bed, but she's on it anyway. And she also knows that she can get away with anything with me. I can't help it. And she just, she just ha makes such convincing arguments, you know? She's just so, she's so smart. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, primer on my eyes. Pretty much have the face done because I don't really do much except for my BB cream and a little blush and the eyebrows. Um, but let's get started with the eyes, which is going to be like the most complicated. That's where the pizzazz is. So we'll start with the eyes. I'm gonna put a primer on. It's gonna be a, like a nude primer. It's called Ballerina Girl. It's by Beauty Creations. Um, it's, it's not particularly mind blowing or incredible. It's just what I have right now. I will be getting better Primers. But right now, this is what we've got, and this is what we're going to work with. I'm going to use a flat brush and just brush it onto my eyelid, keeping it nice and simple. <laughs> so that the eyeshadow has something to stick to. Um, I like to go light into dark uh, and blend it that way. So we're gonna start with Cashmere Bunny, which is the middle shade here. And we're gonna go just on the inside, you know, the crease and then a little bit outward like this. So let's get started with that. shaded in. We're going to go in with my darkest, it's called Sexpresso, um, and then just kind of deepening in that crease. What you're going to do too with that is that you want to just dab it on before you blend it, just so you can get the color in there, and then the blending comes right after that once you just, and then you can darken it as much as you want. So let's get, let's get some deep, dark crease in there. But anyway, I got a Press the color back in anyway, it's still a little blotchy. Alright, I oh my god, I know it's been driving everyone crazy, so I just applied. 
applied this. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Just applied this to where it's not sticking. And I think it feels, it feels sticky already. So I'm just gonna press it down. But I need a mirror to make sure that I'm pressing it in the right spot. So let's get back over. Usually lasts two or three weeks. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously certain circumstances, like if you were crying when you first applied them or reapplied them, then yeah, it's going to have an effect on how effective that glue is. But, you know, these things happen. So I'm going to make the shadow a little darker, a little more dramatic. Then I'm going to put my new favorite eyeliner on just for added drama and then the eyeshadow, uh, the glitter. So let's... Let's do that. Let's do the darkening right now in the crease. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the glitter. I have this gorgeous glitter. It's called Cabana. It's by ColourPop. I thought it was going to be a lot darker than it is, but it's just like just gorgeous gorgeous color um sorry this needs to be blended better and then i'm gonna do the eyeliner because if i put the eyeliner on first what's gonna happen is it's just gonna get covered by the glitter so we're just gonna put the glitter on just in the center here and um and then we'll go from there i'm just gonna use my fingers i'm just gonna and then pat it on <laughs> Best way to do it is to do little dashes and then just follow, you know. makeup lately um for a few months at this point i'm gonna do the eyebrows then we're gonna do the lips and that's pretty much that's the look it's it's yeah it's so easy anyway let me let me get my eyebrow stuff all right i also grabbed my bb cream because i just want to reapply it which you should reapply because it's you know it's is it called it's spf and you need to reapply we're not going outside and there's no sun today but just to keep the skin tone even it's good to have that anyway and i like a more natural look which is why i use bb cream as opposed to foundation um just make sure you don't have any glitter on your hands when you uh and yeah i literally just rub it in rub it into place clean up the edges. That's another reason why it's good to do it after you do your eyes. Because then you can just clean up any edges. You know? Alright. Eyebrows. 
I guess I could, I should do a little bit of the highlight too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this palette again. There's a pretty light pink highlight there. I'm just gonna put it on top here. Adds a nice little shimmer and it blends the top color nice and pretty it's too bright but that's okay we'll blend it with the other brush that still has the color on it yeah it's too bright we love okay so from here what we're gonna do is the eyebrows. So I started using Anastasia's Beverly Hills eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, brow whiz. And we're just gonna fill in, make it a little more bold. <laughs> situation should stay I don't think it's too dark sometimes I think of my eyebrows I, I do it too bad too dark but it's okay I think I think it's good all right so now we're gonna do the lips so I just learned not just but I don't know if you know about this it's this um, it's called a lip primer and it primes your lips for whatever you're about to put on top of it. Aside from making sure you do the lip scrub and you make sure that your lips are completely smooth, you know, all that stuff. This actually kind of, kind of, it fills in any gaps you might have and makes your lips look even plumper. Um, that's what I think it does because that's what it looks like it does. That's, that's what I'm assuming the primer is for. And it also it gives the lip product something to stick to. So we're going to just rub that everywhere and, uh, yeah. I even go outside because I like to overline my lips a little. Although, some people have told me that I have beautiful lips and my thought is I wish they were bigger. So I paint them to be bigger. But I'm always surprised when people tell me that they are like beautiful when they're natural. I don't know, it's just, it just surprised me. So that's the lip liner, lip liner, lip primer. And now I'm gonna go in with my lip liner. I always use, no matter what color I ended up going on, it's called Half Red, it's MAC. It's my favorite color, it works for nude, it works for red, it's the perfect liner. So I'm gonna zoom us in and we're, I'm gonna show you the shape that I like to do. <music> to do is this Maybelline Superstay. Um, my nude is Seductress. It's my favorite. Um, and yeah, it lasts, which is phenomenal. And that's why I love it. And it's just the best go-to. So we're just gonna, where we lined, we're gonna put this. <music> but I do and um, people joke that I should sell these <laughs> ah! mm -hmm. don't think I didn't think about it along with my feet it's not gonna happen anyway I like to put a little bit of the concealer just to go in the center lighten it a little give it depth you know Yeah. 
This is when I'm going real fancy. But I just go for the center. And that's, that's literally, that's the lip. If I wanna get real dramatic, I'll like go darker in the corners with the brown. This is my freckle pen. <laughs> But essentially it adds this idea that your lips are really, really full. Just gotta make sure it's even. It looks like you have uneven full lips, you know? Anyway, that's the idea. What I also like to use my freckle pen for is, um, shadow for my nose I kind of make it just look like the freckles are exactly there but at the same time it adds like a depth and shadow and then I just go straight across because I like to make it look like my nose has like a little upturn as well and I go down here just to lift it create a shadow You know? And then the piece de resistance that makes it really like striking is the white. And I just It really just makes it pop and like looks like you know I have a very cute little button nose and I kind of do but it's not like that extreme you know finally what I like to use is this elf monochromatic multi stick this is what I use every single day to just give my cheeks a little color and lift and I just literally go right here they go up here and that's it and then sometimes I go on the inside as well when I don't have any eyeshadow on which is every day <laughs> except for right now and then I go in here sometimes at the button nose and then just up here but yeah that's how I do my blush That's it. Um, if I'm not doing a lip, so every day, I'll put this on my lips with a little Vaseline and that is that is my look. This is pretty much the look. We're gonna seal it all in um, with a translucent powder. I have a big kabuki brush. I'm gonna dip it in. We're gonna start with the lips just to seal it, because I like it, the color that it is, it's exactly what I want it to look like, so that's what we're gonna do, we're just gonna seal it. I go thick on the lips, and then I... just powder the rest, set it all, and then That's it. And that that is that is the look. That is the makeup look of what I did for the wedding uh, earlier this month. But yeah. Oh, and I do highlight. Let me show you where I do my highlight because it's a little different from what I see a lot of other people do. I like to get a nice pink highlight color. It's just a shimmer. And I go right above where I put the blush. And then I'll put it here and here. And then the last place I put it, besides here and here, the last place I put it is right above my brow. Just like that. And 
And that's that. And that is the makeup look. I'm not doing anything with my hair. I'm keeping it like this. I'm gonna change um, into a cozy sweater bodysuit. Um, but other than why, other than that, this is the look. I'm ready. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you need any more details on the products or how I applied them, just let me know. Uh, and I'm happy to go over that again. But anyway, that was the little tutorial on how to do the wedding makeup I did. But yeah, pretty easy. By the way, this is the, uh, the color pop. Like I said, it's called Cabana Pressed Glitter. It's fantastic. Oops. It's amazing. It's really, it's something special. But yeah, anyway, I love it. That's really what makes this look pop. Oh, and the eyeliner that I use is House Laboratories. It is Lady Gaga's eyeliner and it is phenomenal. I used to be a Stila fan, Stan, however you would say it. I used to be a Stila, like 100% would always use Stila, very black, loved it. And then I used Lady Gaga's eyeliner. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. Anyway, and that is that. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to get ready to get into something cute and cozy. This is all staying, so this isn't a surprise, but the outfit, the top will be different. All right, I'll check in later. the nails I don't know I already messed it up like literally a mess can I even get it like can you see oh whatever anyway everything else is done so all right let's go all right well of course we couldn't go out without my pumpkin purse um we did have a casualty the nail is a mess but only one so it is what it is i guess anyway now we're going out to dinner and um and then a show what a cute little show all right let's go
eventful day. Let's, yes. Um, in the middle of it, I did a makeup tutorial, so I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> I didn't do a tutorial on my space buns. If you would like that, I can do that. That one's really fast. It won't take like 10 or 20 minutes, nothing like that. It'll probably take like five minutes to show you how to do this because that's about as long as it takes. But anyway, um, I hope you had an amazing day. I need to end today's episode. I am very tired and this video has been long enough. So I hope you had an amazing day. Happy Friday and uh, yeah, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really do think that it is possible for us to get to a thousand before the end of this year. I really, I, it's possible. I know it's possible and it's because of you. So thank you. Anyway, thank you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Until next time.